Hello guys, here we are back at it again. So, I just got off of work guys. It is, I got off at 11. It's 11.30 right now. As you can see, right there guys. We're going to run, we're going to run with the Weber kettle today, the 22 inch. I just turned it on guys. Guess what we're going to do today. We're going to do a brisket and we're going to do a pork butt man. And we're going to do it all together. Now I do got a, uh, a second layer upper deck where I'm going to put the brisket on the bottom and I'm going to put the pork butt on top. So that's what we're going to do. And the reason I'm cooking those today is because today is Saturday, September the 30th. And it's Canelo versus Charlo tonight, man. It's boxing. So, man, I, I, I got to cook something up for it. So I'm going to get this brisket and this pork butt on by 12 o'clock. And I'm hoping to pull it off by 8 p.m. tonight so that we can start eating when all the pre-fights start and everything. So that's what we're going to do. But I got it on, guys. We're heating it up. And uh, now we're going to go into the kitchen and we're going to get things ready. So go in there with me, meet me in there, and let's get rolling. All right, guys. So here we are. So here's the brisket and here's the pork butt. Uh, the brisket, guys, weighs 10.96 pounds. So basically 11 pounds. And then I got the pork butt. And the pork butt is 6.32 pounds. So a six and a third. But guess what, guys? Guess what we're going to do with this brisket? I'm not even going to trim it. Yep, you heard right, guys. I'm just going to straight season it, and we're going to see how that turns out. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it straight out of the package. I'll let you see it, and then we're, we're going to season it, okay? And like I said, we're also going to do that pork butt. So, uh, but yep, I am watching uh, Colorado and USC playing right now. The score is 14 to 7. USC leading Colorado. So, so far, hey, we'll see what Colorado does, guys. But in the meantime, this is where we're at, right here. So, all right, guys, well, let me get them open so I can show you how they look. All right, guys, so there's the brisket. It doesn't look too bad, guys. Um, look at the, uh, man, look at the, uh, look at the flat. Look how thick that is. Man, this is a nice brisket. Like I said, I, I'm not going to trim it. We're going to see what this comes out like, guys. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to season this thing. And uh, we're going to roll with it. So, yeah. I mean, I could do some trimming, but you know what? We're just going to we're just gonna roll like this. We're going we're gonna to let it come out like that. And then here's that pork butt, too, that I'm going to make. So here's that pork butt. So, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to season this up and uh, I'm going to get it rolling, guys. Well, there you go, guys. Ready and seasoned and ready to go. So I got them ready. Like I said, I didn't trim that. I didn't even trim the pork butt, but I didn't trim the brisket. We're just going to roll with it, guys. We're going to see how this comes out. But that's what we're going to do. I'm going to try this brisket. Didn't trim it. Didn't touch it. All I did was season it and I seasoned it with my... Uh, with my SPGO and uh, some of this uh, carne asada seasoning. And, and uh, I'll get into this here in a little bit because this is another one that I bought. So, but yeah. All right, guys. Meet me at the pit. All righty. So we're out here at the kettle. So um, I, I did just open it up. Um, it's, it's climbing up 200, 209, uh, 211. It's going up. So I'm going to open it real quick so it doesn't flame up so much because I want to show you what I got. Like I said, I got an upper deck in there for the pork butt on top. And I'm just going to give you guys a quick glance. Let's open this up really quick. There you go, guys. There it is. You can see that. You can see this right here. See that upper deck section that I got? That's what I got, guys. That's the nosebleed section for that pork butt. So he's going to be down... He's going to be watching this from the nosebleed while the bri brisket watches it from the 50-yard line. But that's what I got. And I am rolling with hickory, guys. I got hickory right here. So, but yeah, let's go ahead and shut this down. And uh, guys, I think I am. I'm going to run this thing 
think I'm going to run it between 3 and 325 because I really want to get it done by 8. So I'm thinking I can get it done. I've done it before. But but yeah, guys, uh, like I said, it's Saturday. It's a good day. It, it's 12.10 right now, guys. Um, it's 12.10. So I got it right on the dot at 12. So we're gonna. I'm going to keep you posted and keep you updated as I keep coming outside and checking this Weber kettle. But yeah. We're rolling with the Weber kettle today, guys. We're going to do that brisket and pork butt for the Jermal Charlo fight and Canelo Alvarez fight. It's going to be a good one tonight, guys. It's a good, shiny, warm Saturday. And, man, I'm looking forward to this all-day cook today. So stick around, guys. I'll keep you updated. All righty, guys. So we have hit the two-hour mark. Um let's go ahead and see what's going on here now my temps uh they did go a little bit past three man i want to say it was reading like 371 earlier so i had to make adjustments right now i got it at 291 so i wanted to run between 300 and 325 so um we're just gonna have to keep checking on it periodically uh though it it's really windy out here today um it wasn't when i set this um and so it picked up the temp so uh let's see let's see how it's going on in here real quick guys okay so there we go guys so so far so good um er earlier earlier i did put this uh foil just to protect uh my brisket but other than that guys man we're looking pretty good guys look at that oh yeah we look awesome so all right well so far so good well let me go ahead and close this up guys and uh what we're gonna do now is uh guys i'm gonna go inside and i'm gonna take a nap um i had to go in at two this morning so i want to get a nap before the uh the um fight starts and everything and i've been watching some college football i've been watching texas a m and arkansas and colorado against usc i kind of been going back and forth keeping up with saturday college football but but yeah, I'm going to take a nap, and then when I get up, guys, we're going to come back out here and check on this brisket and that pork butt. So uh, in the meantime, we'll catch up with you in a bit. Alrighty, guys. So uh, it is almost 6 o'clock, believe it or not. I slept a little bit longer. It is 541. So let's go ahead and uh, let's open this up and see what's going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I do need to add more fuel, so that's what we're gonna do, guys. So Alright guys, well give me a minute and let me add some more fuel. Okay guys, so um at this point, after checking everything and reloading my fuel and everything. My bark is pretty much set. And now, I always wrap um, according to color and if my bark is set. I never wrap to temp. But we're going to go ahead and wrap these bad boys. And it is going to be 6 o'clock. So I'm going to see how long it takes for them being wrapped. How long it will take to see if, if, they'll, if they'll come out by 8. So, But I'm going to go ahead and wrap them, guys. And then I'll meet you back at the pit when they're on. Alrighty, so okay guys so now i got everything wrapped now i did open my vents all the way on top and all the way on the bottom because now what i'm doing is i'm just cooking with straight heat it doesn't got all the smoke that the pork butt and the brisket need so i know there's a theory where you can uh you can put these in the oven and finish them off so you don't have to waste fuel i can kind of see that um quite honestly i've never really done that i've always just finished everything off in my pits and yes you know you are wasting fuel but i just love to barbecue and i just love to finish it off so i know it, it to me it just doesn't matter but i could put them in the oven i don't want to i want to finish them off in here but with that being said my vents are fully open i don't really care usually the temp the highest i've ever seen my temp go on the kettle has been about maybe 450 when I've left my vents fully open. So um, it is uh, working with the slow and sear. So it doesn't let it go as high. 
so I'm not too worried about but it is six o'clock and we're gonna see how long it takes like I said I always wrap to color and depending on how, when my bark is set I never wrap to temp I always just let it go the only time I ever check temp is when I feel that it's almost ready and done and then I let it go from there but from here on out I just let it go here I let it cook all the way and then we go from there but so far guys it's good so the next time we'll be checking this is uh probably when it's in the kitchen so uh, we'll see you then okay guys so there it is the brisket is done and uh here's the uh the pork butt and i did throw some sausage in there uh the pork butt registered at 205 and the brisket at 203 so they're done so uh but yeah that's how they look next guys what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna cut it up and let you guys see it and that way i can finish this video out i've been watching college football all day and i got the charlo and canelo fight going on already it's just the preliminary fights so i need to get outside and start doing that but uh, let me cut this up and we'll finish this off okay guys so here it is we got the brisket right here and what i'm gonna do is i'm about to cut it up uh like i said look at that it jiggles it's good we're ready to go so uh i'm gonna i'm gonna cut a few slices here guys and uh we're gonna get this going and let's see uh how this turns out so looks pretty good to me it is nice and good and uh man oh yeah Whew. still hot guys still hot but yeah look at that guys nice oh it is hot it is still hot um i would like to normally i would like to let it rest for about an hour but i got a bunch of people waiting so i had to cut it but uh but let's let's go ahead guys and uh let's give it let's let's just give it a try let's uh cut a few pieces here and uh let's see what uh Let's see what's going on here, guys. So, look at that. Here it is. Rub a little bit of this juice here. Remember, I didn't I didn't trim it. So, mm, 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 mm. you can never go wrong with brisket. guys this is so good um i did i was gonna say that uh that carne asada uh, rub that i showed you guys i think i've showed you guys before on previous videos i can't remember which one it was but i went ahead and layered it with spgo first and then i put that carne asada on there it, it is by the brand called uh, laurie's casero I'm sure you can find it in your local grocery store and it really stands it's really good but God now mm, 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 mm. a brisket is always good so but With that being said, guys, I'm going to close it out. I hope you enjoyed this all day cook with me. Um, we're getting ready for the Canelo fight. Um, I just finished watching LSU and Ole Miss play. And, man, that, that game was off the hook. College football all day. I've been watching college football all day long. And it's been so good. Colorado. They almost pulled it off against USC in the second half. It was such a good game. But, uh, of course, uh, my Aggies, Texas A&M University, they pulled it off against Arkansas and Arlington today. So that was a good game. But 
Now we're going to go off to the boxing. Uh, I do got two TVs outside with the boxing and college football because Alabama is playing right now. I can't remember who they're playing. The game just started. But, but yeah, guys, I'm going to close this video out. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see what we shoot on the next one, guys. We'll see. But uh, God bless you. I love you guys. And uh, we will see you guys on the next one.